Hello everyone and welcome back to AK Academy and the 10th session in Reactive UI in Xamarin Forms. Today in this, in this session we are going to talk about Observable as Property Helper. So let's get started. First, what is Observable as Property Helper? Actually, it is a type provided by Reactive UI. Uh, we use it to convert an observable inside our code into a normal c -sharp property. It's very useful when the value of this property it depends on observable in your code. For example, you have a login page and inside this page you have a username and password, two entries and two properties in the view model, text properties. You convert this into observables, username and password, so you can track the changes whenever any change happen to one of these values. We can use observable as property helper. We create this a field uh, called can login and simply when any changes happen to username and password, if there is a valid email or a valid username and a valid password, the value of this property should be set to true, otherwise it should be false. So we use in this situation observable as property helper and we don't use a simple property or a normal c -sharp property. Why? Why you use this and we can use a very simple c -sharp property. Actually, this one, first of all, it has a very easy syntax. This is number one. Number two, here it's a proof that the value of this property is only set when there is any change to the username or password. And uh, the third uh, benefit to use observable as property helper is you don't need to take care about calling the rise and set if changed or implement the inotify property changed on this read only property because observable as property helper takes care of this. Now I'm going to move to Visual Studio and show you some example. Okay. In the example that I'm going to do, you are going to go back to the contacts page you have created in the previous session. And here we have this contacts list. It's an observable collection of type contact. Here I'm going to create an observable as property helper of type string. Whenever any value set to contacts in a new instance, filtered, added, or whatever, we immediately create and we get a value of type string set it to a normal c -sharp property called uh, search result contains the number of the items we have in the list after the filter. So let's get started. First, I'm going to view models. Here, I will create a property helper private read only observable as property helper of type string call it search result and I will create a read only property which I will bind a text property of the label in the UI to this property result and it's only gonna be a get for search result dot value dot value is simply a property inside an observable as property helper object returns the last value and it's of type string or simply I can use the syntax which I prefer more for read only properties. Okay. Dot value. Now we should listen to the changes of contacts and return a proper string or a proper message like no filter is applied, all the items are in the list, three items in the list found, whatever, and convert them to an observable as property helper or to this instance search result 
which in turn immediately search result gets its value directly from this one. Now let's see how we can do this. I'm going to use this dot in any value dot contacts. Now I'm listening to contacts dot select select it receives a list contacts which is the variable we are listening to now we can return whatever we want I'm going to say if contacts equals dot count equals to the count of this array so the contacts no filters applied sample dot count then I'm going to return a string message called no filters applied otherwise I'm going to return the number contacts have been found in result for search query okay now I want to set this property to this property helper this string I can use a function called to property it receives an object of the current instance of your model and here what is the normal property I want to map to it's called search result and set the value of the observable this way search result okay now again here I'm listening to the changes of contacts using this dot when any value then select just to uh, like return another value of this changes here I use subscribe to column method or to make an action when the observable is changing but here I don't want to make an object no I want to return something of this changes it uh, receives an list of or observable collection like the same type of this and I make the logic here if the number of contacts inside this observable collection is equal to the all contacts here then no filter is applied otherwise I return the number sorry here at say count have been found in result for and the search query after that I created an instance of the search result observable as property helper using that dot to property method. It receives a current instance of view model and the read only property, normal C sharp property, which is of type string, and the observable as property helper. Okay, what are the benefits of using of making it this way rather than creating a simple property, for example, called search result get and set? and uh, set its value here when any changes happens to the contacts actually here we have multiple benefits as I have mentioned earlier first of them is this way I'm making sure 100% this value is going to be set only when the contacts is going to be changed there is no other resources to set this value if I'm using a normal C sharp property I am going to use get and set maybe private set but anyway I can set its value from other place but here it's a proof and I'm making sure 100% the value we're going only to be from this and it's a response to any change happening to contacts this is number one number two as you can see it's a very clean code because you don't need to take uh, responsibility of calling the dot rise and set if changed to reflect the changes to the UI or 
any way to implement the I notify property change, which is observable as property helper takes care of all the things. Now, the last thing you want to do is I want to bind a text property of a label in the UI to this search result. So I'm going to move to the contacts page and create a simple label here. Label text binding to search result margin two. Okay. Now let's run the project. Okay, here we go. Immediately we got this result. No filters applied because we have all the list. There is no filters. I'm going to write GO. Okay, I got Julie Smith and John Smith. Two have been found in result for Jo. Three or whatever. Observable as property helper actually is also a very nice concept in reactive UI. I'm using it a lot in all the projects and you should use it and prefer it over than rather than the normal C sharp property, especially for such a situations when you need to respond, uh, when you need or like to generate a property or generate a value and respond to a change for any observable. In this situation, go directly to use observable as property helper rather than using a normal C sharp property because you can see the benefits and of course the clean code, which is a very great benefit. Hope you liked uh, this session. You can find the code on GitHub and the link for the repository is existing in the description box below. Uh, please, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. In the next video, we are going to talk about the dependency injection in Reactive UI. See you then.